compact, svelte, lightweight, nimble, agile, maneuverable, and all those other words which I would not use to describe. It is an Electrolux Z327, or, oh my goodness, an Electrolux Sup Air, Sup Brov, Sup Air, Sup Air. A machine which wasn't really ever sold in the UK. Obviously it must have been because here is one now in rainy Oxfordshire. But this is more of a Volta or a Tornado type of vacuum cleaner. Let's have a look and I'll explain how it come to be sat here in my front room. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner and vintage obscure Electrolux chums. How are you today? Yes, it's popped up for free. It is a free Electrolux supper, in it, bruv? Yes, it came up on Facebook in Whitney, the other side of Oxford, which, oh, that's not far from me. Yeah, crikey. Well, at that, it took 40 minutes there and 58 minutes back, thanks to traffic and Oxford's general hatred of the motor vehicle. But nevertheless, here it is now, and the guy remembers his dad buying it. This guy said he would have been seven or eight in the showroom as they were back then and he always didn't he always remembers it because he wished his dad hadn't bought this he said he was looking at the sleek black glossy vacuum which considering this was made in july 1986 was probably a hoover centratronic but his dad bought this and i have to say practically his dad probably made the right choice i imagine a hoover centratronic system 50 nowadays is going to be a right tatty old hector but I also agree with them, but yeah, this is not a pretty vacuum cleaner. Let's start with, well, we'll start with the cable because I've been sat here playing with it, logging me for a while. It works really, really well, but I'll just be a bit tangled. The plug is a very nice Volex, one which we have seen before on this channel, non-shielded pins. We have our Electrolux type cord go it with a rubber buffer there and this brings me on to the first issue with this machine if we do the cable up look oh fantastic oh yeah and it, it does that fantastic we'll stand it up crunch oh let's just move it crunch and yeah you have to uh, do that to do it the problem is it's made for an EU Shaco plug. Obviously the plug would shoot back into there, leaving just the pins taken out. I mean, I could probably shorten it a little bit by obviously moving this up there, but then that would still stick out a load and still smash the plug. So yay for European imports into the UK. Oh, normally I start with the tools, which are sneaking into shop, but screw it, we're on to the vacuum cleaner itself now. So we'll carry on, and this will not take long because there's not a lot to it really. Under here we have our tool storage. Now there is sadly a broken, oh gosh, no a bit of broken plastic just come off there. There is a broken hinge on there and I don't quite know how to take the rest of it off so we shall just leave it alone but equally I want to take it off because it's going to be a lot easier to show you this next part and it's Ah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, what? We might just leave that alone. Oh, this is going to be a fun one to strip down. So yeah, your tool door would sit like that, leaving your access to your cleaning tools. And we have a little diddy upholstery tool in a design that I've never seen before in a smooth, glossy finish. <laughs> we have an upholstery, not upholstery, dusting tool. Look that. May have seen a little bit of dusting once or twice, and also it is too well, it should be smooth and glossy. And then we get to the crevice tool, which is patterned, ah, patterned and dimpled and reminiscent of the Electrolux design, at least here in the UK, for decades and decades and decades. And we also have look, 
the little crevice tool condom brush, the radiator dusting tool, doesn't really fit on the crevice tool that well, though I'd imagine this was probably be about that long when it was new. Actually, no, not, not, not too much of a gap. Yeah, they all sit under here, which is lovely, but yeah, note the two different tool designs, because we don't know why us collectors us rabid vacuum enthusiasts have been discussing this and well on others and everything that I'm showing you here is with this machine because I've seen a brochure shot with these tools but other machines came with different tools. Bar that we have our power control, all literally two fingers of it, power and cord rewind. I don't think this comes off, it's not like a removable filter as such, it is just there. Right, so, then, oh my goodness, come on to the top, which is very fetching in um, black rubber. We shall, to remove it, you have to push these two clips, and then it's very familiar. After that, actually, not too bad at all. We have ourselves a bag, and that is literally, I don't even know what this, this red bit's probably a pressure relief valve or something, and... I do spy a power socket adapter, but I don't know if the wiring is there for you. One of these isn't. There we go. I'm hoping that they're just gummed up with age. We'll, we'll, we'll carry on with that in a minute for reasons that shall become clear. But first we need to look at the tools. Yes, there were some tools with it. Now straight off the bat, this is a replacement hose, which is not... The original hose that came with the machines is one of the very many Vax 121 clones, which is fine. It still fits this machine. This machine would have come with the black hose and sort of, you know, long end that things like my Z2000 have, or the Electrolux Z350. Then we have a single piece, it's typical Electrolux wand, and I think this is genuine because look, it's got the white bushing inside the top, as Electrolux did. And then this floor tool. Now I briefly thought, oh no, that's out of replacement floor tool. Fair enough. Doesn't it look familiar? But then this brochure picture came up and it has this exact floor tool. And I remembered where I'd seen this before, where I turned it over and went, oh look, it's pretty much the same as the Moonanay E59's head. And it is literally the same. Now it barely moves because, crikey, there is a lot of fluff underneath that. In fact, should we, should we defluff it, folks? We haven't done a, we haven't done a defluffing for a while, have we? Let me get the screws out and I'll come back when we're lifting up. Ooh, that's not seen a clean out probably ever in its life. We do need to rescue these springs. They are very important and underneath all this fluff is where they are. So we'll pop those to one side and yeah, typical pedal floor tool that doesn't move. Always remove the... Look at that. Wow. <gasps> How amazing is that? Brilliant. All we need to do now is, in fact, in fact, we can go one step further look, and remove that because it's all under there. And then a little waft over from our old friend Victor. And with that taken care of and our floor tool moving fantastically once more, that's 
literally all you need really but you can wash it obviously and make it look better but that is it in essence we can test the old girl out we'll start in no suction She runs really, really quite well, considering there's, you know, obviously just got the normal style motor in it. However, we're going to go back to in here, back to the bag, because, oh my goodness, is it absolutely chock full. I mean, that is rammed, literally rammed. Oh my goodness, bring that up against Victor at the back there. What? Tiny little bag housing for such a massive vacuum cleaner. There is a filter down here. There's also lots of little bits in there. Let's see if we can get those out. Oh, look! There's a spring. I wonder if that's a spring that may have a home. Look, these are those latches, look. I'm wondering if oh, they're both missing a spring, actually. Maybe the other one's rattling around in there somewhere. I don't know, and I've got to find somewhere safe for that flipping spring. But yeah, what the bloke also handily gave me was this. Whoa! Some bags and or some filters. Now, I don't think we need filters really, because this one's not bad. But we will need a bag, and I suppose there is nothing stopping us from fitting a HEPA flow to this when it's refurbished and worth it. But for now, we're not going to bother doing that. We're just going to fit a new bag so that we can have some suction. So, we'll pop our little filter, assuming that I have it the correct way round. I don't think it really matters in there. And then, oh, open our pathetic single walled paper bag out. Don't worry, you might have one of these in you for long. Pop it in do the latching and in theory if we go back to no power no setting should have a little bit more oh yeah instantly a heck of a lot better. Let's get rid of this scrappy demo carpet and use it on the rug. Blimey, this thing weighs absolutely nothing anymore. It's about the same weight as a 350 or a dolphin. Wow. So it's going to work a heck of a lot better now. So we'll pop the floor tool on. We'll stick it in medium power. It's very short, but it should have a longer Home's end on it. Oh, yes! I mean, it's
how gorgeous is that? So I don't know now about that hose, we might need to have a look into a replacement, simply because it's quite short. So obviously, the, you know, this bit here needs to be longer to cater for the fact that this is shorter. But with a new bag, oh, let me just pull the plug out a bit, anyway, there we go. With a new bag and a clean of the floor tool so that the brushes go down, our Electrolux Super is, well, not done, shown to you and works now. And bar that annoyingly broken tool door hinge, there might be bodges we can do, don't know yet until I get into it, I say. She's quite good, and I'll probably keep her out for a bit and use it, and then refurbish it and show you how she works afterwards. Because it'll work a heck of a lot better, because all the rubber seals are going to be gacky as heck, and she's going to be losing a lot of air from somewhere. But yes, a very, well, I think it's a very strange and unique machine. Obviously, they weren't really sold in the UK, bar for a brief period. And it's a bit odd, really, because obviously in that brief period when they were for sale, you had your Electrolux... 345 and your 330s and your 302s for sale in the UK. It wasn't as if we needed vacuum cleaners, they just sold this as such and put random tools with it and called it done. So, a bit odd, but equally, you know, 40 odd years later, it's what makes it quite exciting to find them for free on Facebook Marketplace. I mean, this orange one, as you know, was only £10. Same length. Same design, your motor, your bag and the hose, motor, bag, hose, literally hasn't changed too much in a long time. Just this one, that's a very fancy but very broken tool storage bit. So, <laughs> there we go, do you have an Electrolux Super Air? Have you ever seen one, used one, felt one, smelt one, held one? Let me know in the comments down below and I shall get this one looking, feeling, working, smelling, spick and span and show it to you all in this next video. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I and this will see you soon. Bye bye.